Welcome to our series on searching probate records on AmericanAncestors.org. This is one of three videos explaining the basics of how to search our three categories of probate records. We'll discuss how to search the Massachusetts probate file papers, which we offer in conjunction with the Massachusetts Supreme Court Judicial Archives and FamilySearch.org. Our databases of probate file papers currently include the following databases, containing records for the following counties, Bristol, Essex, Hampshire, Middlesex, Plymouth, and Worcester. This project is a work in progress. We currently offer indexes for Suffolk and Norfolk counties. In the future, as photography is completed, we will offer full file paper collections for Berkshire, Norfolk, and Suffolk counties. We'll look at our advanced search form to discuss how these databases are indexed in general before moving into more specific examples. You can search these databases by first and last name. Only the name of the primary person in the case is searchable. This can sometimes be multiple people in the case of guardianships. All other names within a case file are not searchable. You can also search these databases by year. This will be the year in which the case was filed. There may be a range of years represented within the file. The location field is the town in which the person lived, so you can also search using this criteria. These databases are not indexed to include family relationships. Do not use the family member search box for these collections. To begin an example, I'm starting on our homepage, AmericanAncestors.org. I'm going to hold my mouse over the search menu and click on Databases. This will bring me to our advanced search page where I'm going to search for William Dawes. He was one of the early patriots of Boston who rode to Lexington to warn of impending British troops on the same night as Paul Revere. I'll put his first name into our first name box and his last name. And then I know that he died in Marlboro, Massachusetts in 1799, so I'm going to look for the Middlesex County probate file papers. Here you can see if I had already used an index and knew the case number, I could use this field right here uh, to search this case directly by case number. But I don't know that for now, so I'm just going to hit search with this information. So here, this first result looks really promising. I just wanted to point out this note right here, page 1 of 53. Currently, only the first page of a case file is indexed, um, and this note tells you the scope of the file, so you can know that there are 52 more pages to search through. So I'll click here. This will take us to the first page of William Dawes' case. So you might notice the page number looks a little bit complicated. Uh, this indicates that William Dawes has case number 6107, and this is page 1 of this case. I'm going to use these arrows on the right to navigate to the second page of the case. You can use your mouse's scroll wheel to zoom in, or these plus and minus buttons on the left of the screen. So if you were interested in the estate of William Dawes, you could continue to scroll through his probate file papers and you might learn about the property that he owned, any debts that he owed, um, and members of his family. This was an overview of how to search the Massachusetts probate file paper databases. Please email us at webmaster at nehgs.org if you have any further questions about this set of probate records. Mm -hmm.